Hi, Fred, FR5ED with the Silent 5 here with a beer review. Today is Weyerbacher Quad. This is a Belgian style quadruple ale. Um, obviously, it's not Belgian, it was brewed here in the United States, but it's, um, it is with the style, within the style, the recipes of the Belgian quads, which are the real big Belgians. Big, let's say 11.8% ABV. That's big. Wow. Anyway, as a side note, uh, I've been in Chicago quite a bit and still will be for a few months um, on business. And so I haven't been able to brew and I haven't really posted many beer reviews either. So even though I just put in my timesheet for this past week uh, and I put in 91 and a half hours, I'm still taking time to have a beer and do a review. Okay, so this one is uh, fairly well rated. I say fairly well. It's like 3.9 out of 5 on untapped after 20,839 unique views on rate. I'm sorry. On beer advocate comes in at a 3.87 out of 5 after 1,167 ratings. And then finally, and I mean finally, um, rate beer is a 92 overall with a 67 in style after 820 ratings. And a bit of a commercial description. Big and delicious, Quad is an elegant dark ale, rich with complexity and flavors. Try savoring it with a fine dinner. I'm just going to have it without dinner. Um, let's see. You also might enjoy it as an aperitif or an accompaniment to a dessert, but it stands alone quite well. So we recommend enjoying quad in a brandy snifter or a wine glass. Well, how about a Belgian glass, a large Belgian glass? Anyway, it uh, talks about the fact that it will age well. Well, this is not going to have a chance to do that. I uh, got a four pack of this. Oh, this one's aged about two weeks. So anyway, that's about all this is going to age. It'd be nice to try that sometime, letting something age. Well, let's pour and see what we get. It's nice and dark. All right. Oh, let's see. I'll get the SRM scale here in a moment. It's a nice uh, reddish brown color. And I'm looking for my scale here. This light is not doing it. It looks extremely dark on the screen, but with some light coming through it, I'm getting more of a, I'm going to say about a 16. 16 or 16 to 18 SRM is what I'm seeing. Anyway, it only developed about a one finger head there. It's fairly dense though, and I'm going to expect to see some lacing with such a high ABV. None, not really. Could be the glass though. I just used this last night and rinsed it out, and maybe it's not squeaky. Oh, wait, wait, I'm seeing a few little legs in there. You may not see it on the screen, but I'm seeing some, some legs, if not lacing. Okay, smell. Definitely can smell the Belgian yeast. It's a characteristic aroma of clove and bananas just kind of hanging in the background there. And definitely the maltiness, caramel, um, or raisins or figs or, or prunes. And it, it, it's just got a really delicious inviting smell. I'm not getting the alcohol. You think you might be getting some alcohol fumes, but not really. If they're there, they're pretty well hidden. Taste. It's the first sip. Mm. There's a sweetness, definitely. You'd expect that in a quad. They, they certainly use the candy sugar, C-A-N-D-I, sugar to beef up the uh, dryness in the ABV, um, but there's still residual sweetness and has a nice full mouthfeel. Also getting that dark fruit taste and caramel. No hot bitterness to speak of, none that you'd notice. I'm sure there's some hops in there to balance out the sweetness, but it's all about the malt. It's all about the the heavy mouthfeel and the sweetness. So this is something to sit and sip, which I will be doing. I've had Belgian quads before, actual Belgian quads, 
from places like Duvel. But um, I think they've done a good job in, um, you know, taking on that style, uh, even though it's brewed here in the U.S. They've, uh, I think, come up with a, a good stateside substitute for a true Belgian ale. So it's good. As I said, it's something just to sit and contemplate. Well, that is Weyerbacher Quad, Belgian-style quadruple ale, and this is Fred of our 5ED over and out.